Are you having a hard time on how to edit your YouTube videos and other videos? If that's so, you're in the right channel, buddy. Before anything else, do subscribe and hit the notification bell for more informational videos. I'll teach you how to use the editing tool, CapCut. First, go to the Google Play Store and install CapCut. Now that you have the CapCut app, let's get started. Open your CapCut. Click the plus sign. After you click the plus, the content in your gallery should be seen. Click albums to see your videos and photos in an organized folder. Click stock videos to see the free videos that CapCut mainly provides. On albums, choose the video you prefer to edit. Click the add button. After you add your video, you will direct it on the place where are the editing tools is located. CapCut also have a watermark in the form of an ending video. You can remove it if you'd like. Just select the ending video by clicking it. Then click delete. Then you can now see that the watermark is gone. If you want to add a text visuals, click text button. To type in your text, click add text. Type the words you need or prefer. If you want to change the font, you can click on style. Scroll until you find the design you'd like, click it to be shown. You can also choose its color, resize it and move it around wherever you like to place it. Click on effects to see other cool styles. Click on bubble to put on a background on text. Click animation if you want the text to be animated. There are various animations you can choose. Click it and adjust the speed. If you're satisfied on its movement, click check to proceed. Play your video and check if the text are moving the way you want. If the text duration is too short, drag either of the both ends to make it long. If it's too long, drag either sides again and push it to the length you want. If you want to make the voice for your text to make it look like someone speaking, click the text itself, tap text to speech, and choose which gender you'd like to speak. Hello. 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 Then click check. Wait for it as it generates speech. It must show confirmation that it generates the speech. Hello. If the volume is too low, you can adjust it as well. Go to audio. Click the audio you have and increase the volume. Hello. Hello. Click check if Hello. you're satisfied. You may want to add more designs. You may click stickers. There are various stickers. Choose what you'd like and it will be there on the screen. Click the sticker you'd like, you are able to resize and move it wherever you prefer. If the sticker's duration is short, make it long by dragging either of its both sides. You may want to animate the sticker too. Click the sticker, go to animation and choose what you prefer. Increase its duration and movements be gliding the bar. Click check if you're satisfied. Hello.
You can also add music effects in your video. Click Audio. Select Effects and choose the sound effects I prefer that suits your video. If you're done choosing, click the add button beside the music you chose. If the audio is too long, click the audio, click split and delete the longer part. Hello. To add video on the existing video to your editing, click the plus sign. You will be directed on your gallery again. Choose the video you'd like to add. To add transitions, click the little white button between the videos. There are a lots of transitions here. Choose what you'd prefer and adjust its duration by sliding the bar. If you'd like to speed or slow up your added video, click speed and normal and adjust. Click check if you're satisfied. Extend the audio, or you may add another if you'd like, but I'll extend mine. Hello. I'll teach you how to overlay. Overlaying is the process of adding a video or a photo over another video or photo. Did that made you confused? So do I. Let me just show you how. Watch and listen carefully. Is that clear? If it is, then let's get on to it. Click overlay. It will direct you to your gallery. Choose a photo or a video you prefer. Did you see that video on the top of the other video? If yes, you have a great eyesight. That video over a video is what we call overlaying. Get it? Great. Now let's proceed. Now that the video is on the top of the other video, you can now resize and move it wherever you like. Click the overlaid video, click split then delete. I clicked the first part to deletion so I'll drag the excess one as a replacement. Repeat the process of deleting excess parts. Now that the overlaid video is finite length, mute its volume. Click check after. Hello. Now that the video is okay in its length and sound, add animation if you'd like. Choose whether you want the animation to be in out or combo there are various animations educate yourself so that you'll get familiar on working it you can adjust the duration of your animation too click check if satisfied
You may change the video size format by choosing your preferred size. Click Format and choose. Press back if the size is changed. You can change the background too. Click Canvas then Background. Designs will be there so choose. There's a lot so feel free to choose. You can add video effects too. Click effects then video effects. Choose and suit yourself. Hold on. You may adjust its length too. I've taught that so do it if needed. Hello. Add as much as effects as you want. Take that creativity be unleashed. Check the video to see your work. If you feel satisfied, then it's time for saving it. Click the upload button. It will now show that it is exporting. Stay on the CapCut app as it exports, so that your work wouldn't go back from the start and vanish. If this shows, then you're done. After editing, this is the final product. Hello. Well, I guess that's it. I am looking forward on your future edits using everything that I taught you today. Thank you for watching. See you on our next video.